that represents us. You know, all pigments of color. It, it just makes me feel a part of this mall. I want people who come through the museum to be changed, to realize that the African-American experience is the quintessential American experience. When you want to understand core American values of resiliency, optimism, spirituality, where better to look than within the African-American community? So I want people to realize this is their story as well. It is my honor to introduce the person who did more than any other to make this museum a reality, its founding director, Lonnie Bunch. Thank you. Boy, it's the first time I've seen people in here. This is pretty cool. I like it. I always call this the museum of no. When I was hired in 2005, it had no staff, one other person, had no money. We did not know where the building would be. Unlike any other major museum, it had no collections. You were going to have to do something that no museum had ever done. How do I make this a story for us all? I grew up in a town that was predominantly Italian. I went to elementary school, was the only black kid in the elementary school. And because of that, there were moments that I was treated really horribly. I remember in ninth grade, you were supposed to do an oral report, right? And all the guys did the same thing. I wrote about the Yankees or read something about sports. There's one. It is deep right My father said, here, I got something for you. Why don't you report on this? What the Negro has and has not gained. And I remember walking into the classroom terrified, terrified. I said the title of the talk, and somebody from the back yelled, what? Say it again, which is horrible. I don't remember anything about it other than I got an A. I began to think if I could understand the past, maybe I could understand what has shaped the life I was living. And in essence, that's been my whole career. What this museum does is adds ambiguity to our understanding of who we are. When you come out and you see a statue of Thomas Jefferson, and behind him are 600 bricks, on those bricks are the names of every person he owned. So you can't separate slavery from Jefferson, nor can you separate it from America. And then you continue to rise up, and you look at the era of segregation through the civil rights movement. You see things that will make you cry, like Emmett Till's casket, but you also see the kind of creation of a community. Jimi Hendrix, vests and, and amplifier, a tambourine from Prince. It's not a story of victimization, but it really is trying to find the right tension between difficult moments and resiliency. We have a history that was founded on slavery and owning other human beings. There is a need to have a place where people can come and put it all in perspective. The Black Lives Matter movement is a part of a historical continuum of civil rights and human rights activism. Our model has always been resistance. Had it not been resistance, we wouldn't be here. You know, we would have died off as a people. Only until we begin to acknowledge the wrongs can we begin to right them. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Opening the museum after 11 years was unbelievably surreal. African American history is not somehow separate from our larger American story. It's not the underside of the American story. It is central to the American story. When I was sitting there, I kept thinking about all those that weren't here anymore. I know people don't believe this, but I, I've always been terribly shy. I just could see my father saying, face your fear. And when I stood up, there was no fear. 11 years ago, we began this trek full of trepidation. It washed over me, all the people that cared, all the people that believed. Until this museum was built, we would come to the mall to learn what it means to be an American and we'd leave a part of that out. 
what this museum posits is that America has to be a work in progress. The struggle for freedom isn't over, that we didn't win every battle. This is the culmination of my life's work. Well, I know one thing, I'll be sitting in this chair for a while and just enjoying the view. We have came a mighty long way and all of us have stuck together to get what we have. So that building speaks for itself. Our people have been through so much and to see it recognized on a national scale with such a beautiful building, such a beautiful design, it means a lot to me. I drank out of separate water fountains and I went to a separate school. I never expected to see this in my lifetime. It's a way to let go of some of those past, a place and a space that we can talk about our story and start to heal, and start to heal.